Hey everybody, thank you for joining in tonight. Tonight we're going to take a look at a tank from z -Paul. It's called the Coral Tank. You can find z -Paul on the web at www.zpaul.com. You can also find him on Facebook. I'll leave links down below. Um, Jim Jimmy Go over there contacted me and asked me if I would take a look at his uh, new tanks that they got. And I absolutely, of course I will. They had sent over a uh, regular 24 millimeter tank. Actually, they sent me two of them. I got one on. Then they also sent me the Mini. We're going to take a look at all three, and they also sent me over some coils. Um, we'll stick around to the very end. We're going to talk about doing a giveaway on one of these tanks here. And uh, so, um, you know, let's uh, dive down low. We'll take a look at everything, and then when we come back up, I'll tell you uh, things I like and things I don't like. Um, and did I fail to mention that this is the first 200-watt sub-tank? Yeah, 200 watt baby. Let's uh, take a rip and head down low. All right, so here we are down below here, and here's the Zipal coral tank here. Let's open it up. You look at the case, and it just says coral tank Zipal on the back here. It does give you an itemized of what each thing does here. I'll start from this end here. Tells you that you got the package contents one Zipal coral tank one zero point ohm zero point two ohm pre-installed coil and then you get an extra uh, zero point two ohm coil as well and you get the one user's manual so let's open this up here here's the tank here's your coil and it tells you that it's a 0 0.2 it says 60 to 200 uh, to 120 watts there now these coils are capable of actually the newer ones say 50 to 200 watts so these actually are capable of going all the way up to 200 and, uh, and then on this side here it has your z -Paul. it has um, the same exact coil as your TFV4 which is very very cool I like that in itself there um, take that out let's take a look at the user's manual here on this side this is what like I showed you there what comes in the contents you open this up here and it gives you your specifications of what the coil is what the wattage is it's dual adjustable airflow uh, 304 stainless steel um, Cotton is organic, the glass is quartz, five mil capacity, 24 by 75 overall from the top of the tank here to the bottom here is the 75, uh, 75 millimeter and this is a 24 millimeter going across this way. So if you have a 22 millimeter device, it probably wouldn't look too uh, nice onto it. Um, this tells you the first time user, how to fill up your e-liquid. And then over here has your different warnings of uh you know must be 18 all the different little just little warnings about high blood pressure um that's about it there i don't see anything else like a lot of them they will end up other than just sending you an extra coil they will send sometimes uh an extra tank maybe some uh o-rings because they do tend to wear out this uh here is your top cap here as you can see it has a removable top part i believe here but the rest of the cap don't, but I believe, no, this one doesn't. This is just has your regular adjustable airflow here. And uh, it does come in handy when you're using the higher wattages. I wouldn't suggest it if you're running, you know, like 120 watts or lower, I wouldn't use this here. But if you're going, you know, 150, 200 watts, you definitely would want to uh, use this here. You're not going to, you're going to lose all your flavor, but you'll get lots, lots more cloud and it'll cool down the vape for you. Um, you've got nice gaskets around on the threading here. It's got the nice, unique top filling onto it. When you fill up your tank, you just unscrew the top. And it's got nice knurling all the way around so it doesn't slip out of your hand. And then you would just fill up on either side there. You fill up one side so the air comes out the other. It'll be there. Now take off the bottom. You got your 
tank I'm not going to take off, but inside of there you got two little rubber gaskets. Make sure those are on there because that's what gets screwed on into the coil to assemble the unit together. And then here's your base here, and I want to show you something here. When you look at this little tip here, it's flat right now, but when you screw this in, it pushes that out. So you do make good contact. I still would not use it on any hybrid mods, but it definitely pushes that out. So you're going to make a good solid contact on all your other devices. Um, there's your air flows. They're huge. There's no locking onto it, so but it's it's nice and tight, so it's not going to move where you set it. It'll stay. Uh, let's take a look at this coil here. I mean, the thing is huge, and like I said, this is same capacity or capabilities as the TFV4 which um, here's the TF T3 which is the three coil and uh, if you look at it it's a little bit longer on overall but it's skinnier but it's the same concept of screwing on to there. Let's try it onto the here. This is the TFE4 coil. Screws nicely into the base there. And that tightens right up into there. So that's another plus in itself there. So if you can't happen to get these coils here, which they sent me a pack of them over of the .2 coils, um but so they they will be supplying those but if you can't get those and you want to get them locally your uh coils for your tfv4 will also fit in there rather nicely also so let's take that back out here i just wanted to show you that comparison i mean how big the actual coil is when you take that coil and you compare it to a atlantis coil i mean <laughs> The Lance coil looks really, really small next to it. And even your uh, crown tank coils. Quite a difference. It dwarfs it quite much. So, so um, let's uh, throw some juice into here. And uh, then we'll put it all back together. And then we'll take it up the top and we'll vape on it. Um, let's throw some juice into here. I got some from... Elix Elixir. This is their strawberry. I don't know. I've lost the thing from sitting in my pocket so much. Uh, I know it's strawberry milk. So throw a couple drops in. And I throw some into here. If it'll. And then. Put that to there for a minute. Let's get this out of the way over here. Get that out of the way. While we're letting that soak a minute, let's take a look at the mini. Now the mini is going to be the same thing as the regular size one. The only difference is on the mini, it is a where the, the regular one is 75 millimeter, the mini is a 73 millimeter, so it's a little bit shorter. Um, this is a 24 millimeter, this is actually a 22 millimeter, so this would look nice on all your decks that have the 22 millimeter. Um, this is a five millimeter, I mean five milliliter tank, where this one is a three milliliter milliliter tank. The coils are the same, so you can interchange them with one another. That's another plus in itself there. Um, and so, I mean, even on this on the mini, there you can go. This has got the newer coil into it. The newer coil, like I was showing you on the other one, it said uh, 60 to 120. Well, the newer coil says. 50 to 200 watts so that's pretty cool so like I said this is the newer up upgraded ones I mean updated not upgraded because the other ones did go up to 200 as well so 
and it's going to have the same thing there's no other parts that come with it you get the manual with that so let's um fill this up here and then like i said we'll uh take it up to the top and i'll tell you uh what my thoughts are and then we'll talk about the giveaway so uh hang on one second like i said let me just throw some juice into here so i can always do what i always do when i do is when i blow the cloud when we switch back over to the other camera We're going to throw this on my uh, Hexone V3. If you were watching the review I did on the other night, I had this on here and I got all the way up to 169 watts to the batteries. And uh, let's see how. Five twelve. So if I was to uh, vape this. at 5.12 and we know the resistance is 0 0.2 it will be 131 watts so I'm going to blow that cloud at 131 watts and we'll take it up to the top all right so here we are back up on top again the product we took a look at was the coral tank from Z Paul um, Right now I got this at 390, 3.90 volts. And at a 0.2 ohm coil, that's 76.5 watts. All right, let's crank this up to I'm just randomly stopping at whatever number, 4.41, 4 <clears throat> I figures out to be 97.2 watts. And as you saw, I opened up the airflow up on top because I'm really not a big fan of a real hot vape. I don't mind a little warm, but um, but when you use that, it definitely you do lose your flavor onto using that open airflow up on the top there. But still, you know, like if you're blowing, you know, that many watts, you're really looking for more clouds than watts, anyways. But let's crank it up a little bit more and see where we're at. Five point five watts, which is a hundred and twenty hundred and twenty seven watts total on five point five volts. <coughs> I'm really not losing a lot of flavor, but it definitely does bring the flavor down. Um, let's crank it up a little bit more. Five point four nine. It was five point five zero, but that figures out to be one hundred and fifty one watts. If it'll focus in, there we go. One hundred and fifty one point two five. That's one hundred and fifty one watts there. Um, I'll go up a little bit higher, but as you can see, this was a full tank when I filled it up. It just sucks up the juice. <coughs> I'm getting uh, from all the sugar. That's because I'm using a strawberry milk. So I'm getting a little bit of that sweetness in my mouth. We're at 5.65.
All right, I maxed out at 5.65, which turns out to be 159.6 watts. So if it goes there, I have no problem getting it. I mean, Quest for Vape actually had done a review onto it, and he brought it up to the 200, and he was vaping it out at 200. So um, check his video out also. Definitely, we'll definitely do the 200, but here's the 159.6. 6, 160 watts. No burn, nothing. It flows very, very good. I would definitely recommend it. All right. Um, like I said, the name of the company is Zpol, www.zpoltech.com. Uh, Jimmy Go is the person my contact over there if you want to take a picture of that and contact them Very very good. I would definitely recommend this um, So at the beginning I said I mentioned about a giveaway. Well, like I showed at the beginning I um, Said that they sent me over The three tanks two of the full size and one mini and uh I'm going to give one away. What you're going to do there to enter in onto this giveaway is you have to be subscribed to this channel, of course. You um, have to like this video. You need to share this video. I don't care if it's to Google, if it's to your Facebook, wherever. Just share it. It needs to be shared. Um, I want you to go over to Z-Pulse Facebook. I'll leave their link down below. I need you to like their page. And then down in the comments below, you're going to put hashtag Coral, just like it says there. And that's going to do it. Um, the giveaway is going to run from today, which is January 9th. And we're going to run this till uh, January 30th, the last Saturday of the month. And uh, whoever uh, wins will uh, get this here, 200-watt sub-tank. Awesome, awesome tank. I would definitely highly recommend it here. Um, so that's going to do it. All right, people, um, that's going to do it for today. So until the next time. Keep.